A little bit like Where's Wally? <laughs> Look for the white. <laughs> That's pretty much my, my, uh, my advice there. <laughs> So today we're here at Asham Meads looking for brown hair streak eggs. We're looking for the presence and distribution of these species across this site. These butterflies can be found along the tops of hedgerows. They very rarely come down and because of that they're quite elusive and quite hard to locate. So we specifically look just for the eggs. Today's count is only possible because we've got a fantastic army of volunteers. You can imagine checking every hedgerow around three meadows looking for an egg the size of a pinhead. It's something you don't want to do on your own. Brown hair streak prefers to lay its eggs on new growth, but the new growth is very distinctive. It's um, a ready brown colour. It's challenging, but not as challenging as it could be if you had to search the whole hedgerow. And when you find them, they're about a millimetre in length and they have sort of a golf ball casing shell to them. So when you look under a hand lens very closely, you'll be able to see a little dot in the centre of them and a really uh, very cool pattern around the outside of the egg. A little bit like Where's Wally? <laughs> look for the white. <laughs> That's pretty much my, my, uh, my advice there. Um, but I only found one. <laughs> I, didn't actually, well, I didn't actually know <laughs> what it was. <laughs> Um, I had to double check it, but it did turn out to be one, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> We're in danger of losing uh, several species of British butterfly from, from our landscapes. And uh, the brown hair streak is one of those that lives in fairly small colonies and is obviously very vulnerable uh, in terms of the way the countryside is managed. Brown hair streaks are probably suffering both through a combination of poor quality habitat and also climate change. So every winter we coppice, we cut a section of our hedgerows around the reserve to ensure that in any one year we have enough young growth of blackthorn to support the brown hair streaks. I love learning new things, so for me this is, this is a great learning experience, that's why I'm here today.